songs that are on this record aren't necessarily the best songs I have at the minute. What I'm trying to do with this one is to pick the songs that best reflect the year that it's taken to make the record. See, I think songs are memory makers. Like when I hear Everywhere, I sleep with Mac. I'm instantly 14 years old in the Motley Club and Banger falling in love with Louise Edgar. When I hear that Saturday night song by the left field, whenever I have the misfortune to hear it, I'm instantly in Tenerife with my skin tingling from the day in the sun, falling out with Alice and Graham. It was kind of important for me on this record to to be it stamp it, all the things that happened in the year. So that's why the songs that are on the record are on the record. Well, can I? Oh, best. Right. Hey, Dan. Just a uh, 40 pound pump five, I think it is. A six, it might be. Yeah. You Thank you for uh, please, yeah. Do you want uh, points for Topus? No, I don't collect them. No. no. Okay. Hey, thanks though. Thank you. All the best. Well, I tried to do what I felt was right And I know I fucked it up sometimes But at least my heart was open You're the one that crossed the line But you could not go the extra mile So I did what you were hoping And at least my heart was open At least my blood still pumping I know that it won't sometimes burn I am known you You devastate to liberate Oh, but every moment's golden and Though our withered arms entwined Was not your fate Now we can't be lovers, friends, or even mates Well, your chances come not for because every moment's golden I did what you were hoping But at least my heart was open And at least my blood still pumping I know that it won't sometimes I sip of coffee. What else do you want? I, re I recorded Hope and when I released it um, I had a I sort of realised something uh, and not to, not to dismiss the record because I know I know people like it but I sort of don't you know I kind of realised what an album was I have to do things to figure out whether they're good or, or bad you know 
I always admire people who have that intelligence, like the Bowies, the Dillons, the Morrisons, you know, who knew what to do and when to do it. I'm not really like that. I have to make the mistakes and learn from them, which is why I suppose I feel like I'm releasing my first record now at 38. Are you just going to shout out the chords? I can do that if you want, yeah. Okay, that's what you can do. So, one, two, three, two, two, three, A. It's, it's, it's not been overproduced, we hope, you know, hopefully that's what we're doing. And um, we feel like uh, the, the, the core of the songs are always still there. It's very much Foy centred, you know, because Foy's at his best when he's just playing and singing. And anything that's been added to that is quite sparse still in some places. Sometimes there's, there's more layers going on, but at quite a lot of the time it's with, with respect to the song and, and keeping that core value of the live performance of Foy. And it's still sparse and still organic and still entirely real, which is a, a good thing, you know. Hold me wrong, hold me right. Mm. So the songs that are coming through are just a bit more, I don't know, they're just a bit more real. You know, they're a bit more sort of honest or something. Maybe not as flash, but they're definitely uh, what I think at the minute. Mm. With both sides as sharp as the other, as sharp as the other. As a matter of course, fuck. I was really feeling that. Yeah. Can we punch in something like that, or is that impossible? Nah, man, let's just do it again. We're in it here. Ready? Still rolling? Mike came out to my house a few weeks ago, where I'm living in the, in the Highlands, and we just spent a bit of time talking and, you know, talking about what's important and why, why even bother making an album, why bother doing anything, you know. And then I woke up the next day and wrote, a th you know, little, I had little snippets of songs, but basically I finished them that day. I wrote maybe about four or five songs and all four are on this record. So that's kind of changed the, that's changed the direction of this a little bit, you know.
It's all about capturing that performance. With Foy, he's a real natural light performer, so we had to put him into. I felt we had to put him into a situation that he could do that, you know. And I think that's why we're here, you know. Uh, there's a bit of the old and the new, really. Um, uh, you know, one of the great things about this big room that we're in right now, it has an amazing acoustic and kind of um, beautiful natural daylight, and it allows us to be able to sit kind of ten musicians around live and work out the arrangements, and then we add ideas from the musicians and stuff as we go along so but that's a kind of organic part of the process and from Foy um, but we maybe have strings and we have scores that we can move things about quite quickly and it's it's it's, it's all about performance so I mean Foy's vocals are nearly nearly 100% live a lot of the time you know so it's like we never really do vocals it's like capture the whole thing or we, and start it or you know if we don't we start again you know. Collie I'm thinking uh, Keeney I don't know what you're saying about Collie but um He's a dick, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're coming. <laughs> that wasn't what I was thinking at all. What I was thinking was, it might maybe something on the baritone. If it's going to be something ringy, I think it should be the pedal steel. It's not sounding like where I imagined it would sound, but it's, uh, I like where it is. You know what I mean? Because I let Keeney do most of the driving on this with regards to the sound and all that. And I know, I know what I like and we talk about it and we've kind of scoped out the arrangements and all that crack, but with regards to the sonic uh, identity or whatever, it's just well-miked instruments, nice instruments. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Like now. I really like a first and third section. What is it about the second section? Sorry, well, that, I tell you what it is. It's, it's, missing, it's, it's, missing, it's, missing, it's, missing, it's missing the big wash of the symbol, which is yeah. the sort of white stripes you hang on. I think you should maybe stick it out. Stick it out. One, two, three. Like an animal. I'll, I'll keep the snare in there on the back beat. <laughs> It feels very, it feels very relaxed. Like we all sit in here, and all, uh, all opinions are as valid as the other type thing. It feels like a band. It feels like I'm in a band. You know what I mean? As opposed to a solo artist. Got that. That was really good. I'm gonna keep that one. Everyone's a creative part of this process. So in that sense, it's not a case of, you know, booking a pile of session musicians and making a record. It's a real collective spirit of creativity going on and that's important to what Foy does, okay. I think, and important to the way I work as well, you know. Okay, you want a wee ride? I thought you meant leave it out all together. Uh, no, you, right you, to the I, end. No, just, no, it hit the last one, but not the one before it. Okay. No, I 
one here I know by name I would come should I call Do you know what I've always been a fan of? This sort of considered disregard. Like Thelonious Monk had it, Miles Davis had it, Bob Dylan had it, Sex Pistols had it, you know, Talk Talk have it, had it. Um, a sort of nonchalant kind of, it's like it doesn't really matter, but <laughs> but it does. Does that make sense? Am I talking shit? You know, with the songwriting, I, I didn't, I didn't try as hard with the songwriting. You know, on this record, I didn't try and make it. Uh, you know, think too much about um, the kind of craft of it. I sort of just relied on my gut and hoped that my craft was good enough to. I suppose I've been playing for long enough now that I'm maybe able to articulate those feelings a bit better. But that, yeah, the songs have come in a, in a different way. Or they, f they felt different to write for this one. Less, just more enjoyable, actually. Just enjoying it, enjoying the process was what happened more with this. I think what I was doing, hope and writing those songs, it was kind of, I was still in that space of needing to write to get shit out <coughs> and I sort of don't, I suppose I still need to do that but I don't feel as kind of, you know, I don't know, I feel a bit more relaxed about it. I suppose I'm just getting older. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, anything, just like a pepperoni or oh. whatever. Great, man. 
Yeah. One more? If you, if you want. Yeah, one more, please. Yeah, no, no, no. Yep. But now let me say this I'd rather had you been vaporized by a lunar reflection from the sky. It's a definitely a move on for Foy. It's a, it's a, a mo there's enough of kind of the what Foy is great at and kind of the things he was doing in the past in the new material. But I think he's taken it to the next level in, in terms of his writing, definitely. I, I feel personally. I'm just a little bit confused. I'd, I'd like to hope that it matters in some way outside of me, whether that be to people or, you know, it gets recorded in history as having been released even. It doesn't need to be anything huge. But in reality, what matters most was the was the doing them, you know, for me personally. Yeah, maybe you'll go with that tomorrow. Yeah, because that would be pretty. That'd be easy to do. One or two passes in. Yeah.